What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Bourbon Pour. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brian. Today I think we've got a pretty cool video, Brian. Um, so actually you found this bottle, so I'll let you kind of tell everybody what we're doing okay. with, with well, uh, these two bottles. Yeah, so this just, just came out, I don't, I'm going to say within the last couple weeks, but mm -hmm. the, it's the Baby, Baby Jane uh, from Widow Jane uh, Distillery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a heirloom corn. Uh, it's a blend of, uh, of straight bourbon whiskey. It comes in at 91 proof. Uh, looking forward to this because it's just uh, they uh, the widow Jane normally is a, the ten year is obviously it's a ten year statement so it's, yeah. it's going to be it's going to cost a little more so yeah. this is kind of their entry level right. uh, product uh, so I was pretty excited to to, to try it so mm -hmm. and what I what I was really excited about too is that you know you say kind of entry level that means the price this is a uh, a more affordable option, you know, this right. bottle usually is about 80, 80 bucks, 80 bucks yeah. and this one was 50? 45. 45, so yeah. even better. Um, yeah, Widow Jane's website said that uh, this is uh, their heirloom corn that they kind of sought out um, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, wanted to make sure that they had had some high quality ingredients. So yeah. uh, we're, we're just going to compare the two and, and see what we got. We're going to start first here with Baby Jane. So I've never had this before and I think you've had a pour of it. But I get—I did have a little sip yeah. of it on the, the day yeah. I got it. Yeah. Uh, but I get this, uh, like a like a grape or a plum, uh -huh. and I get that on the on the yeah. the widow Jane. I remember you is, saying that about the the widow Jane. So it's actually got a pretty good nose on it for yeah. And, and we were we and, were talking about age statements that there's no age statement with it. For some reason, I've read that it's a blend between four and six years. I don't know where I found that. You said that there's I, one out there. Yeah, that's something that had less than a. It was, it was a year old, yeah. or it was less than two years. But I yeah. think that may have been something that yeah, special some, that they did. Some so, different thing. Yeah, so, so don't don't do, don't quote <laughs> us on that. Yeah, so. let us know yeah. in the comments below though if if you know the age statement. Send us a link too. But it smells good. Let's mm -hmm. give it a taste. It has a lot of spice. Yeah. Um, baking spice or pepper. Some yeah some sort of. Um, and then it is a little bit grainy, mm -hmm. um, but you know, actually, usually I'm not as big of a fan of the regular tenure, and I kind of like, the, I, I do like this. I don't mm -hmm. get any like, I usually get like an off oak note, especially if I start with that one. Right. Um, and this one, I don't, I don't get that. Um, I actually like that. Mm -hmm. And I think for 45 bucks, sadly, that's kind of like a good deal nowadays, right. especially yeah. for a new release. Uh, pretty good. Uh, and there's still, a little sweetness there yeah, too. Yeah, I still get that plum note, mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. it transfers over well to the spice. And yeah. the, the, for 91 proof, it's got it's got to be spice because yeah. it's, it's not proof. Right, right, uh, right, right. So it's it kicks in and gives you a, gives you a, a bite. Yeah, uh, and it's even a little warm in the chest. Mm -hmm. um, it's of course this is my first sip of the day. That's that's a uh, well done, Widow Jane. I yeah, I really it, like I like. Maybe it stays up in the front of my palate. It's a little drying. Mm -hmm. um, now that it's now that I've, you kind of finish stepped away from it, but, finish, but yeah, right. but it's got uh, it's, it's got a good it's got a good finish on it, but it's just a tad drying. Yeah, uh, yeah. So right. let's solid. uh let's take a a, a smell and taste of uh, the ten year. See what how they compare. That plum note is much richer Stronger. and deeper. Right, right. I get that oak note that you're talking about. Yeah, and there's a lot of oak with that one. Of course, being ten years, um, that's probably this, you know this expected. one's always really sweet to me. Yeah. Um, so I. I I don't remember it having any type of like the spice and right, right like that. No. So it's they're not no uh, they're not from the same family. I <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna go in for a taste here of the tenure. Yeah. No, well, that's you coating. Know. It's coating on mm -hmm. the mouth. You can t you can the vanilla the that plum note. Yeah, there's that, um, that I, I'm glad that you mentioned that plum note because that's not something I don't, I don't think I would have found on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, but you saying that, uh, you know, it's it's quite obvious, some it's sort lot, of dark It's a lot kind of, sweeter. Uh, but I struggle finding fruits in. Right, it's a lot It's a lot sweeter. Yeah. Uh, but you know, they're, they're just two different animals in there. Yeah. And I yeah. kind, of, kind of dig both of them. <laughs> that's right, that's uh, right. One or the other, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, I guess price-wise, you know, Baby Jane is where you go. Right. Although <laughs> I think you're gonna to want to be a like a maybe like a wild turkey 101 type mm -hmm. fan mm -hmm. that, that that can handle a little little heat, a little spice, a little yep. spice. 
Uh, where this one, if, I mean, it's nothing new here, but right. this is just an easy, easy drinking, uh, just super smooth. Yeah. Uh, good, good offering. Good you can definitely tell the difference between yeah. the two. The one and, then, and the yeah. color. I guess they're they're not quite. Not a huge you, difference. You would, think, you would think that this would be super much darker. I guess you know, it's proofing it down. It's bone bourbon, all of course. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's what bars are for. I said you can definitely tell that that's got some. Yeah. Little viscous, but uh, yeah. uh, that one, yeah. not so much. <laughs> but it's, like I said, from day to day, <laughs> I would probably go back and forth on what I want to drink. Sometimes yeah. I like the, the fruity notes, and mm -hmm. most times I lean towards the spice and, right. the, and, the, and the kick. So, yeah. honestly, I'd probably take Baby Jane over yeah. Widow okay, yeah. Tan. Yeah. So, like I said earlier, you know, Widow Jane's not normally something I gravitate towards, but there is a good brown sugar note. To it. I do remember that from, mm -hmm. from previous times, but I, I agree with you on price. I mean, Baby Jane, pretty. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's like stand out better. No, but, no, uh, no, I don't think it's knocking your socks right. off. But, but yeah, for forty five bucks to, to new release, yeah, yeah could am, still I, am I disappointed that I that I bought it? No, I think it's a good buy. Would I rebuy it? I don't know. I'd be on yeah. the fence on that. It is a little um, bit grainy, no, especially when you put. Put it up against the the ten year. Um, there's a little bit more grain forwardness to it. Mm -hmm. That I mean, it's okay, but it, it's not off putting by any means. But that's just kind of kind of where I'm at. Um, I, like I said, mm. forty five bucks though. If you're gonna you know have have a pour of it often. Yeah, when you say grain, means, grainy like that, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of a, a cornbread. Yeah, 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 yeah. With some cornbread with some kick. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking cornbread, there's baby. Yeah. All right. Well, have you had baby Jane yet? Uh, well, I, actually, Brian, let's, let's talk about. Would you? I think it's pretty clear. But would you recommend this? Yes, I would. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I would as well. I would as well. But let us know if you have had baby Jane yet. Um, we really encourage you if you uh, see it and for a good price, go ahead and pick it up because uh, I think that's that's mm -hmm. a, a really good offering at a at a decent price. Yeah, so I, I don't think you'll have to overpay to get this. No. But I wouldn't I wouldn't pay much over the forty five bucks. No. Uh, whatever it is no, in no. your market. Up no, to no. fifty maybe. Right. Uh, but you should be able to get it for right. that. It's, and it's, it's I think it's offering. and I think it's supposed to be readily available too. Yeah. I don't think it's like yeah. an allocated thing. No. I don't know. All right. Well we'll close the episode uh, in the same way that we always do and that is when you're with your family and your friends, always share, share your whiskey. whiskey.